Are you going to stand? The other question is simply this. What does it take for you not to stand? How much pressure will you be able to stand? Some believers succumb. You may be seated, by the way. So is something there today as we see something happen in Sonia's body? I just want to set your mind so it's all okay. Just put it on Amen. Me. It's all okay. Amen. I was out there when they left or were getting ready to leave. The doors were called. Sonia's being transported to Bayonet Point Hospital. Uh, the diagnosis right offhand was probably uh, low blood sugar, possibly, and high blood pressure, possibly. We don't know. But she is stabilized to the point. I told the captain, thank you, captain, and thank your team, because you responded so quickly, and it sets our heart at ease. But we know that there is another who sets our hearts at ease, and that is the Lord God Almighty. So I just praise God that we have a fire department in Pasco, Hernando County, also, this was the Pasco County, that these people are dedicated. And they are sent to help you and me. And that's why we support them. I know this, Hope Youth Branch supports the fire department and the EMT people. And so keep that in mind. When you see the firemen and when April the 17th comes and you pay your taxes, remember, it's people like the fire department, the firefighters, and so on and so on. Well, we're going to have Elizabeth come in just a couple minutes, but I want to share what happened to Brother Chesterby. It was unplanned. But last week, I got a call from a lady by the name of, of Kimberly. And Kimberly was at Wits End because she had contacted every pastor of every church that she could think of because one of her loved people, Scott, Say, uh, Scott Sutton had passed away up in New Jersey. They cremated his body, and they were not associated with any church, and they wanted somebody to conduct a memorial service. And so, three streets to the west, Brutus Avenue or Street, whatever it's called, Pat and I went over there. We had a captive audience of 35 or more people. And we were able to bring comfort to them, to share with them about their deceased loved one, and also to share the word of God Amen. and an invitation to accept Jesus Christ so that if their deceased loved one ends up in heaven, has ended up in heaven, that they too could be with them and so forth so on. So it was a good opportunity uh, I I didn't know whether this person was saved or not. I seldom ever do a funeral for an unsaved person. Huh? And uh, also, uh, seldom ever do a memorial service for an unsaved person. Because like I said, what do I share? Mm -hmm. And so on and so on. But I had the greatest time. Of the memorial services and the funerals that I've conducted, this was one of the topics. These people were open, and I got to share about hope for your friends and my involvement, our involvement, and hope, and so forth, so on. And they lived three blocks from here, and so hopefully, hopefully, the neighborhood will learn to love hope even more than than they do now. I just share that with you because. You and I have an impact upon people with whom we don't get in on. And so it was one of those things yesterday. I want you to know that that family that uh, goes by the name Ronalds and also Sutton, and uh, so uh, never knew that that family would impress me, even though maybe not too many of them were believers. So, how do I, why did I want to say that? I just want 
I wanted to say it because the importance of family. Yes. You're a family. Yes. You're a family. Yes. We are a family. Yes. We need to be thinking more in these last days about family relationships. Yes. Yes. Not just because we're married to one another, but because we are a family, yes. a local family of God. Yes. And so on and so on. Yes. So, saying all of that, I, I believe that the message that the message that she has for us today, you know, yeah. she works here <coughs> five days a week, yes. but she preaches here this week. And so Elizabeth, would you come yes. and share the word of God Amen. that the Spirit of God has led you to do? The question is, do we put it under your hair? Nothing but joy, my 
my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials, be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance, leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. And let endurance as its perfect result and do a and do a thorough work so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith, lacking in yeah. nothing. Wow. Say that. Yeah. 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 Let that sink in for a moment. Let's just wait. <laughs> Psalm 34, 19, many hardships and perplexing circumstances confront the righteous. But the Lord rescues him from the all. Yes. That's real. When I battled cancer in 2016, this is one of the scriptures that I held on to. It was like a lifeline that I used to get me through as I walked through that period. Next is sweetheart. There are different types of tests. I say the regular tests. You usually have less notice where you have a chance to study. Mm -hmm. Then there's a pop quiz. Mm -hmm. The one that you don't know is coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and without prior warning, you just bam, mm -hmm. here you go. Mm -hmm. I'm in the midst of a pop quiz. Mm -hmm. Didn't know it was coming. Mm -hmm. Came blindsided, no warning. Now, some people, religious people will say, well, if you flow in the prophetic, you've been ordained as a prophet, then you should know. <laughs> Let me clear up a misclarification of what the, what the prophetic is for. Yeah. Papa, just because you're prophetic or a prophet doesn't mean Papa shows you everything. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if That's you're right. using it to tap into what's going on into other bodies, everyone else's life, mm -hmm. including your spouse and family members, well, then you've left the prophetic and you have crossed over into witchcraft. Oh. There's a difference. There's a difference. A lot of people abuse the prophetic. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. They twist it to the point for years. I said I was just an intercessor that flowed in the prophetic because I saw how the, the mm -hmm. prophetic gift was misused and abused. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. That's real. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second, sweetheart. Let me see where we are. Reasons for testing. Next one, darling. Elevation or promotion. Mm -hmm. Papa's calling on your life. You're connected to someone or ministry that's being tested or the calling on their lives. Oh, Sometimes it's not about you. I mean, it is about you, but it's not about you. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes it's because of secret sin that needs to be exposed. And I want to say this, when exposure happens, be it in the church or out there in the world, the reason why it's being exposed is because Papa has given you a grace period to get it straight. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. That's good. That's good. That's how if you have not and if you have not embraced his grace to get it straight, yes. And especially if you said that you are sold out to him, you are part of the remnant, then he will expose it <coughs> for your good. Amen. Yes. And then prophetic words have been spoken over your life. Mm. If certain prophetic words have been spoken over your life, if you've been told that you're going to stand before kings and queens and government and everything, you have to be tried and tested. So when that happens, you can stand. You can carry out the calling that Papa has Amen. on your life. Amen. Because the worst thing can happen is for you to go out there before you're ready. <laughs> because if you're not properly prepared, you will crash and burn. That's true. 
on your face, skin marks all over your face. And the enemy will love nothing more. He will eat your lunch and then pop the bag in front of you. That's real. Amen. That's real. That's a sweetheart. Wilderness times are not a punishment. Say it again. Say it again. Oh, you got to say that again. Yeah. Oh, that's real, huh? Yeah. Say it again. Wilderness times are not a punishment. Amen. A lot of times the enemy has told us if we're in the wilderness, we're being punished for something. Amen. And I've got scripture to back it up. That's right. Matthew 3, 16 to Matthew 4, 1. After Jesus was baptized, he came up immediately out of the water, and behold, the heavens were opened. And he, John, saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and lighting on him, Jesus. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased and delighted. Then Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the, into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Uh -huh. who, led, who led him into the wilderness? The Holy Spirit. After Papa Gave him his stamp of approval. Yes. yes. And this used to come to you receive a prophetic word or something that spoke of something in your life. Then here comes the test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's real. <laughs> For those who truly meant they want to be used by Papa and his king of purposes, have said you are part of the remnant or ecclesia, you will endure either like Jacob or Jesus. Some started the process in 2022. If you haven't experienced your testing, you will. Mm -hmm. Exposure purification will increase in the church. See, a lot of times when we hear about exposures coming, we want to say it's out there. It's in the political, it's, it's in Hollywood. But the word says judgment begins in the house of God. We don't we, another word, another one of the scriptures we don't like, we don't like to um, use or stand up. But whatever he's gonna do out there, he's gonna start with his own kids. That's just like you. Going to spank someone else's child and yours up here tearing up the yeah, island. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you're going to speak to the mom over here uh -huh. and yours over here tearing up stuff. Uh -huh. No. You That's deal with your own. Papa deals with his own first before he deals with everybody else. Amen. That's right. Come on. Amen. Where focus has been on gifts and ministries and personalities and fame mm -hmm. in the church. I'm talking about the church. All right. Yeah. Papa is highlighting character and integrity. Yes. Come on, yes. Yes. Come on, yes. Come on. <laughs> Tests are given to show. Tests are also given to show what you learn and to show if you need further help in an area. Yeah. And these are the scriptures that Papa said is foundational for 2023. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 13, <laughs> the love chapter. Uh, the one that we all think we got it down to a T until you throw it to a test that knocks you off your feet. Then you find out real quick where your love meter is. Well, just saying. This is also the Amplified, so it breaks it down real plain what love looks like. If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love for others, growing out of God's love for me, then I become only a noisy gong or a clanky symbol, just an annoying distraction. And if I have the gift of prophecy mm -hmm. and speak a new message from God mm -hmm. to the people and understand all mysteries and possess all mm -hmm. knowledge, and if I have all sufficient faith so I can remove mountains but do not have love on, yeah. reaching out to others, yeah. I am nothing. If I give all my possessions to feed the poor mm -hmm. and if I surrender my body to be burned, 
but do not have love, it does mean no good at all. Next slide, Love endures with patience and serenity. Love is kind and thoughtful and is not jealous or envious. Love does not brag, it is not proud or arrogant. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it, it is not provoked, nor overly sensitive and easily angered. It does not take into account a wrong endured. It does not rejoice at injustice, but rejoices with the truth when right and truth re pre prevail. Love bears all things, regardless of what comes. Believes all things, looking for the best in each one. Hopes all things, remaining steadfast during difficult times. Endures all things without weakening. Love never fails, it never fades nor ends. But as for prophecies, they will pass away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As for tongues, they will cease. Right. As for the gift of special uh -huh. knowledge, it will pass away. Yes. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. For our knowledge is fragmentary and incomplete. But that which is complete and perfect comes, that which is incomplete and partial will pass away. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. Sidebar, as Prophet Johnny would say, there's a, bunch of, there's a bunch of cheering up in the church. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of cheering up in church. That throw temper tantrums, take their ball and go home and it don't go their way. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child when I became a man or a woman. I did away with childish things. For now, in this time of imperfection, we see in a mirror dimly, a blurred reflection, a riddle, an enigma. But, but then, when the time of perfection comes, we will see reality face to face. Now, I know in part just the fragments. But then I will know fully, just as I have been fully known by God. And now there remain faith, a body trust in God and His promises, hope, confident expectation of eternal salvation, and love, a selfish love for others, grown out of God's love for me. These three, the choices, graces, but the greatest of these is love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is going to have to be down in us. Yes. Down in us. Even if someone hurts you and you not you get the wind knocked out of you, when you collect yourself, you should be able to go back to this. Amen. That's real. Amen. You should be able to go back to this. Amen. The other scripture, the other quality that he said that we were going to need to stand on in this year. Is the fruits of the spirit. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. It needs to be foundational. Absolutely. And not just the ones that we like. Right. Come on here. Let's take a look. Come on here. <laughs> Galatians 5 22 through 26. But the fruit of the spirit, mm -hmm. the result of his presence within us. Mm -hmm. And if you fellowship mm -hmm. with him, oh, yeah. His presence should be in you. Right. Is love, unselfish concern for others, <laughs> joy, which is inner shalom, <coughs> peace, shalom, patience, not the ability to wait, but how we act wow. while waiting. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. We could be saying that we're being patient, but you have an attitude you bleeding on everybody else around you. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature together with his passions and appetites. If we claim to live by the Holy Spirit... We must also walk by the Spirit with personal integrity, godly character, 
and moral courage are conjured up and powered by the Holy Spirit. We must not become conceited, challenging, or provoking one another, envying one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we're fellowshipping with Papa, <clears throat> Jesus, Holy Spirit, we're already making these scriptures foundational in our lives. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And during this time of testing, Papa will invite us to take an honest look in the holy room mirror. Remember Romper Room? Mm -hmm. Those of us that are old, old enough to remember Romper Room. Yes. Romper Room with the mirror, and it would go say, I see Martine, and I see Kadimi, and I see Scott, I see Jose, I see Patricia, I see Cheryl. She would say, she would look at the mirror and she would say, she would call out different names. Holy Spirit is going to pull up that mirror in front of us so we can see us. So you can really see Elizabeth. Everything, even the stuff that ain't so pretty. And when you're going through a test, you will have that choice to tr truly look at you. That's good. Amen. Ashes of what or what not to do while you're enduring the test. I need to put my glasses for this. Know who to call on. Mm -hmm. Not everyone needs to know. That's right. Everyone Amen. can handle your truth while you're going through the process. Now that's real. That's, that's real. That's real. That's that's real. Choose. If you're a married couple, choose those who will love and cover you both. Amen. During the process. Amen. Stay far away from who from anyone who will take up an offense, mm -hmm. even if it's on your behalf. Right. Mm -hmm. Discernment is important. Yes. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He will tell you who you can reach out to. Making sure you are continually making word deposits in your spirit. Mm -hmm. That's all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. All the time. Either reading it or listening to it. I like to I like to dramatize Bible, so I put my earbuds. That's what I listen to while I'm, while I'm sleeping. Because depending on the test, the shock may knock the wind out of you, where you're so numb you can't even pray. I know we like to say, "Oh no," but I'm, 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 I'm but I'm a mighty warrior. I'm blah blah blah. The right test come along and knock you on your boom boom. You're going to find out just how strong and what a warrior you are. That's true. Come on. That's when you need the word coming out your system until you can pray and read the word. If you're not making any deposits, there's nothing to come out. That's true. You need to have enough word in you. If you can't pray or read the word for a week, there is enough yeah. word to yeah. keep you sustained yeah. in that week. Yeah. There should be so much word in you yeah. that it sustains you through whatever test you're going through. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Have those you can be real with. Amen. Again, mm -hmm. everyone can't handle your truth. That's right. Well, that's and that's okay. That's right. That's fine. It's okay to be honest with Papa. He already knows. <laughs> but some of us act like we keep it from him. Like you gonna put you gonna put on the what I call the religious face. Oh no, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come down my bow tie. And you mad. And he know you mad. Tell him you're mad. He already knows. He's Papa. Guess what? Shh. Guess what I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. Gotta be real with him. He can handle it. Yes. Yes. He can handle your truth. Yes. He can handle your truth. You're not going to shock him. He already knows. You're not so personal. Do not rush the process. Mm -hmm. Some tests are so painful, you just want to hurry up and get on the other side. You just want to hurry up and rush. Just hurry. Do not rush the process. Mm -hmm. If you're angry, be angry. Don't stay there. 
but be angry. Allow yourself to go through the process. And you are no, and it does not mean that you're not a strong believer. It does not mean that you're not a That's real. Right. It means that you're human and you live yes. in a fallen yes. world. Yes. 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 And be honest with yourself. Yes. yes. No, Sometimes we have a hard time just being honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because no matter what, the enemy's going to be there talking in your ear. Mm -hmm. He's going to be talking. Mm -hmm. I, I, I should have brought my cup. I have a cup on my desk. I got a Cracker bear last year. It's pink. It has a kitty paw on it. Right. And it says, talk to the paw. Every so often, you got to hold up the paw. You got to hold up that cup to the enemy and go, talk to the paw. Ain't here. <laughs> Prayerfully, you have lived your everyday life that when People do not know the details. They're still there for you. Amen. Yes. Amen. They know something's off. They don't know quite what's yes. going on, yes. but they're there for you. Amen. 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 And she's not watching now. She's going to be watching it later. Miss okay. Lori C., my co-worker at home. Yes. I love you. We've been so blessed that Pop, um, that um, Bishop Jose and Miss Ampi has teamed us up in the office. And even though it was challenging at first, not that anything was wrong with it, but it kind of took me away from some stuff that I loved. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Yes. Thank you. Because as she, Lori and I tell each other every day, we are living our best lives now doing what we do. Good man. Good man. She encountered me not too long after I was blindsided with that test, with this test. And she knew something was off. And she came, she sat on the side of my desk, and she looked at me, and she said, I'm here for you. She said, you're always there for everybody else. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here for you. Amen. Amen. And she doesn't know it, but even on some of my worst days, I have, walked, I have laughed the hardest at work. She is so funny. And just her humor. And she... I just love her. I just, I love you, Lori. I love you. 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 I want to thank uh, Pastor Martine. She's another one that has been there. My apostles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being the other girl today. Oh, thank you for allowing me to be. Thank you. Uh, Apostle Dina Ramos, that's over um, a regional apostolic council province that I'm a part of. She's been another one that's been there. Just thank you. Just thank you. And there are some that have reached out, have sent texts, not knowing exactly what's going on, but just send me encouragement. Um, Ms. Victoria. Peaches is auntie. Um, <laughs> how to call. <laughs> and Miss Geraldine, another one. Thank you. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Miss Geraldine. Amen. If you're involved in ministry, sometimes you have to be willing to sit down while you're going through the process. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Yes. This is not the time to put on the face. And say, oh, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Because then, like I said, you may end up bleeding all over everybody else. 
We use discernment. Papa will let you know if you need to sit down. And if you need to sit down, sit down. And even if people talk, you can't be worried about everyone. So people going to talk no matter what. Because some people just talk. And I ain't talking about people in the world. Unfortunately, sometimes your better support comes from people out in the world instead of those in the church. I'm just saying. Because some people want to use that. Oh, we need to pray for Sister Elizabeth the whole time you gossiping. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what's really going on. Yeah. Yeah. But we come together. We're going to pray. We're going to pray for Sister So and So. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, she ain't been to church at blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You know, she ain't been blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Talk to her. Well, I'll say it. guide you Amen. if you would allow him. Yes. Do not allow pride. Mm. Yes. Do not allow pride to cause you to disobey. Amen. Amen. If Papa's telling you to sit down, but your pride says, no, 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 I can't because they'll, it'll look like something's wrong. Mm. Or, depending on what it is, Papa's saying no, like me today in the pulpit. You want to sit down because it's easier. And Papa said, no, I need you to stand there and be transparent mm -hmm. and let people know that even when it's hard, yes. that's you can still, still stand. stand. Yes. That's why it's that song, yes. I'm Still Standing. Yeah. I'm Still Standing. Yeah. And there's a part in that song where he goes, he starts talking. And he talks about those um, clowns or whatever. You hit it and it comes back up. Uh -huh. That's me. Mm -hmm. I've been knocked, but I came right back up. Yeah. I may be knocked back, yeah. but I'm coming back up. Yeah. I'm still standing. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Do not isolate yourself. Amen. Amen. Do not isolate yourself. Amen. Because once you get isolated, the enemy. And find some inspiration. Yes. Next thing you'll see. Apostle Dina sent this picture to me. Oh. On one of my days, I was so. I wouldn't say I was at my lowest, but I was pretty close. And she sent this to me in a text. And she said, I see you doing this with the Father. Even though at the time when I got that, I was not laughing. I was just one, I didn't even want to. I didn't want to. Next slide, please. I would say that I'm approaching this right now when I'm able to embrace my This is actually on my desk. On the darkest days when I feel inadequate, unloved, and unworthy, I remember whose daughter I am and I straighten my career. If you come into my office, there's a file cabinet behind my desk. And this is one of the things that's front and center when you see it. Mm -hmm. I've been staring on that one a lot. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. <laughs> no matter what, yeah. remember you are a warrior. Yes. 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 You are a warrior. Yes. No matter what you get hit with, you are a warrior. Yes. 
I shared with Mama on Thursday we met. It's almost like I feel like I told her I was sitting for my dissertation for my PhD. <laughs> because in the middle of this, I got hit with another test. So something else to think about. When you're going through a test, make sure. Depending on the test, the enemy can come in with trauma. Right. And you need to deal with the trauma. Yes. Because what I was hit with, it brought in trauma. Mm. That trauma went into my left breast, mm. where I had beat breast cancer. Mm. Mm -hmm. And there were changes. I just had an appointment in October, mm. clean report. Mm -hmm. And I was able to actually pinpoint when the changes started. Wow. It was when I was hit with this test. Mm. So I met with Mama, and we talked, and we prayed, and Papa had already talked because I shared with her what had happened. When the trauma, when I was hit with that test, trauma entered in. Mm. Papa told me I saw it. Trauma entered in. I also spoke some words in my hurt and anger mm. that had to be pulled up. Mm. And I am convinced you cannot make me sway me any other way. So I went to my appointment at Moffitt, told them what was going on. They sent me for a sonogram. The sonogram came back clear. <laughs> He showed me how 
the enemy used my mother's word to usher in rejection. It was him. Real quick. The enemy, he showed me where the enemy, and the enemy doesn't know everything, but sometimes he has an inkling. Like when Jesus was being born, he didn't know when Jesus was coming, but he knew he was coming. So with me, I ain't quite equal, you know, saying I'm up there with Jesus, but just, just flow with me. So when conception happened, the enemy didn't know what all I was called to do, but he knew enough to go, oh no. So, my mom, at the time, she and my father were engaged, but they weren't married. So, when my mom found out she was pregnant, it was, the enemy, he just showed me how the enemy used her words to say what he was saying, which was, oh no. Rejection came in. Then he showed me where, my mom has always told this story, I was born breech. Boom, boom, first. But when she went to her appointment, I was turned the right way. So, um, again, it was so powerful that if Pop can just t take you, just explain some things to you. During that time, I was born in 19, December 23rd, 1963. 63, November, President Kennedy had just been assassinated, which was one trauma that the nation had felt because of what happened. My father had been married before and he and my mom was raising his kids at the time. Well, their mother came and stole them, which caused trauma to my mother, to the point that she grieved so hard the doctor told her she didn't stop. She was going to lose me. So Papa showed me that because of the trauma that I was feeling from my mother, and the enemy was there telling me that, that the world wasn't a very safe place. Mm. So I turned so I could run in the opposite direction because mm. I didn't want to come out into this horrible world. Mm. So we were able to go back to those points Jesus. and reverse the words and everything that the enemy tried mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. And I believe if it wasn't for me going if it wasn't for me dealing with that in November, what I was hit with would have hit me even harder mm -hmm. if I had not dealt with this. Yes. Again, obedience. If I was telling you to do something, mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. You might not even yeah. understand why he's telling you to do it. But he knows why he's telling you to do it. Do it. There's a video clip I want Mr. TJ to play. 